You are watching YETicket.com with Al McGee. Movie reviews and interviews. This is YETicket.com. YETicket.com. Your entertainment ticket. We are your entertainment ticket. That's right. YETicket.com. We are your entertainment ticket. That's right. Hey, I'm Al McGee. I'm with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. The film I'm going to talk about right now is called Mommy. 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 Oh, just those words get me emotional. <laughs> well, this is a movie, a French Canadian movie. It's in French, so there are subtitles. This is directed by Xavier Dolan. He also wrote the screenplay. And this stars Anne Durval, Suzanne Clement, Antoine. Olivier Pylon and Patrick Hewitt. You know, Dolan, he wrote this, you know, and also this was filmed in Quebec. And in this film, he talks about the new law in Quebec that's going to happen in 2015. So he moved this film forward to that time to 2015 because this law is a Quebec law S14. It allows parents to commit their underage children to hospitals without going through the court system if the parents find that they're, you know, they can't control their kids or their kids are very violent and things like that. Well, this is what that story is about. Well, this mother, Diane, she had to, you know, figure out some way to control her son, Steve. Now, Steve was the type of guy, he was in homes and things like that, you know, especially after his father died. So we meet Diane and Steve, you know, after his father died three years earlier. And Steve is in this home for young juveniles, but he burnt up the kitchen and he disfigured a young man in this uh, fire. It was a huge fire. So she brings him home. We see her, you know, going to pick him up and things like that. And gets home. They have fights. He tries to choke her. He curses her out. And she curses him out, too. I mean, he acts a little bit like her. But here, she is the adult. But she acts a little bit like him. She's in her 40s. And she dresses like, you know, she tried to be in her late 20s, early 30s. But she's in her 40s. You know, she's no spring chicken herself. She needed a little help, but she couldn't afford any help because she was unemployed. She didn't have any money. But her next door neighbor, Kyla, or Kayla, who's a teacher who's on sabbatical, she's a little shy and she stutters, but she didn't do any of that when she was around them. She enjoyed being around uh, Diane and Steve. Like I say, 46 year old Diane, as they call it, Di, you know, she was a widow for three years when we see the film. And, you know, she uh, does whatever she needs to. She shreds her body and things like that. Then later on in the film, she gets sued for $250,000 from the boy who got disfigured from the, you know, burns when Steve burnt up the kitchen at the group home. But Diane, she was stuck between a rock and a hard place on how to take care of this kid who was violent towards her, not only just towards her, around other people, cursing and loud and disrupted, didn't respect authority. In fact, she tried to homeschool him. Now, this is a question I had about this film. Now, was this film supposed to make you think about children and their behavior towards their parents? Or was this supposed to make you think about society protecting these type of kids? Well, I've seen this in real life you know, how destructive some of these kids are, how bad they are, and how miserable they are, and how miserable the parents are. I really see some of this in real life. And this film kind of brought that home to me, to make, remind me of that. And then I said, if we had that law here in the United States, there'll be millions of kids in a hospital, you know, young teens, that the kids gave up on because they couldn't handle it. So this film, Mommy, I got to say, it's interesting. It's over two hours long, but there's really not a dull moment in this film. I'm going to give this three palm trees out of four. That's three out of four. 
Mommy is a good film to watch. You might not like it when you see some of the violence that Steve puts on his mother and other people, but you will understand what the director, Xavier Dolan, is trying to say. And he did say it in this film. He said it. This is your entertainment ticket. Latest and greatest movie.